help out the Dr. Wily channel by clicking the sponsor button below. This way you can financially support us and get some cool perks in the process. Now, when people think about The Legend of Zelda games, a couple of key things come to their minds. A little green boy, Zelda who's not the main protagonist but in every title and also on the box art, dungeons, puzzles, and the story of the games. However, just forget all the stuff I just mentioned except the very last part. Because we are going to take a look at the most interesting and surprising plot twists seen in the entire Zelda series. And believe me, some of these are real shockers. So let's begin. Number 5 Now, when you say the word Skyward Sword, a lot of people start foaming at the mouth and scream, Vice sucks and I hate motion controls! Now, while this is valid criticism, we are actually looking at the story, which is really, really good. It has a lot of depth, tons of different characters you get to know over time, good villains, explains a lot of the origins of Ganondorf, and more. But the specific plot twist I want to look at is seen at the end of the game when Link and the others go back to their own time. Here, Impa says that she will stay behind in the past where she belongs and tells Zelda that they will meet again one day. To which Zelda gives Impa one of her bracelets as a token of their friendship and the time they spent together before returning to the present. In this timeline, an aged Impa awaits the return of the young heroes. As they step out of the gate of time, it closes behind them and disappears revealing her to be behind it. As the heroes approach her, the bracelet given to her by Zelda many years earlier is visible to them, revealing she is indeed the same young, tanned and slender woman that they had left behind in the past. She smiles at Zelda, telling her that they did meet again. Now, obviously, this is incredibly cute and heartwarming. However, Nintendo still has one trick up their sleeve that will make this an extremely sad encounter. Because she falls silent, steps backwards slightly, and fades into particles of light, passing away. The bracelet given to her by Zelda falls to the floor and Zelda mourns her passing, thanking her for everything she did to help them. Most fans wouldn't expect her to actually die in the end, and when you think about it, she was probably around for so long just to see Zelda again. As soon as that happened, it was her time to go right away, which probably impacted a lot of players, as she just vanished in front of them. Most people didn't really see this coming after reuniting with her, but as you can see, Nintendo can also break people's hearts if they really want to. Number 4 now let's move away from one of my least favorite Zelda games to one that was absolutely amazing. A Link Between Worlds. A game that was 2D but gave you a ton of freedom that most games can't rival. However, there was also a bit of a big shocker at the end related to the whole parallel universe element seen in this game. Because one of the most important characters seen in the game turns out to be more like Link than anyone would have expected. Because after spending tons of time with the character Ravio, who plays a crucial role in the game, you find out that he's actually the hero of Low Rule. Once Link defeated Yuga for the final time, he intervenes the confrontation between Link and Hilda, revealing that he was a loyal servant of the princess. He ended up running away in order to find a hero to stop Yuga and the princess, because this version of Link is a bit of a coward. This was quite the shocker since we never knew who he was, and he kind of came out of nowhere. However, some players would probably wonder at some point where the hero of Low Rule went and they got an answer in the end. More info on what happened can even be found within Ravio's house, which is a fun extra easter egg. So clearly Nintendo wasn't afraid to shroud a character in mystery and give him weird quirks in order to surprise the player by revealing how extremely important he was all along. Now let's hope that they will never do this with Tingle, because he shouldn't have a major role. Number 3 Sometimes villains in the Zelda series can be extremely cunning, creating plans to win and surprise the hero who tries to stop him. For example, when Vati tries to get the Light Force, which he puts all his effort and time into. One way to possibly beat him or slow him down is by finding it first, so the king orders his soldiers to look for the Light Force. Many of the guards don't believe in it, but continue looking for it under the threat of being imprisoned for disobeying the king. Now, all of this sounds like an extremely good idea, however, Vati is a lot smarter than most people would think in the beginning. Because when Link finally does find out where the Light Force is, Vati reveals what he has been doing all along. While Link and Aslo are going through the history of it all, Vati has been listening and ends up revealing that he was the king all along. 
he possessed King Daltus and proceeded to use the Hyrulean soldiers to help him find the Light Force. Some of the soldiers even doubted if it was really their leader, but were too afraid to do or say something. Sovati has been controlling Hyrule from the very start and has been doing so right in front of us. We even talked to him and all that time Link and the player never knew anything. So clearly, quite the shocker when you find out. Number 2 now this year we will see a handheld classic of the series return to the present day with a fully fledged remake. I'm talking about Link's Awakening. This game is set on a strange island known as Koholand where Link ended up after a storm destroyed his ship. He ends up unconscious on the beach where a young girl named Marin finds him. When he later on tries to collect his stuff in order to get off the island, he ends up meeting an owl who reveals something incredibly important. He explains that high on the mountain tops of the island is a giant egg and inside sleeps a being known as the windfish. The owl says that the windfish must be awakened, for that is the only way Link can leave the island. However, later on you find out what you need to do and what it does to the island and everyone on it. Little side note, there are gonna be spoilers for this game, so just skip this bit if you don't want to hear them. After visiting a certain shrine later in the game, he finds out that the entire island might disappear if he ends up waking up the windfish. This becomes a major dilemma since both Link and the player care for the people found on the island, especially Marin, who you have some emotional and deep moments with. And as expected, the island disappears along with all the people on it, which is a huge shocker for the player. In the manga of this game, Link even tries to stay on the island and even escape using a boat so they can live on, but in the end, he just can't do it. And so the game tricks you into getting to know the characters and end up caring for them, but in the end, all of it disappears forever. So as you can see, it's quite a huge plot twist. Number one. Now we get to the final bomb drop from Nintendo, a twist that changed everything and made a character special all of a sudden. It was seen in a world where the sea had swallowed the entirety of Hyrule and only a number of islands survived. A time where Hyrule wasn't really a kingdom, or even a thing. The world was just a bunch of scattered islands. When Link finally does go on his adventure to save his kidnapped sister, he encounters Tetra, a pirate who is willing to help. Sometimes. But what happened in the end shocked everyone. Because this normal girl is so much more than most would think. Now she always had a weird artifact around her neck, which ended up revealing who she really was. When the former king of Hyrule, who remained in the flooded remnants of his kingdom, fused the missing shard of the Triforce of Wisdom in his possession with the fragment on Tetra's necklace, it was revealed that she actually was Princess Zelda all along. The true heir to the royal family of Hyrule. Which is a major development. Even she didn't know about this, and it's even a wonder that her bloodline even survived. It's also quite a shocker that this badass pirate girl turns out to be one of the most important characters in the entire series. It was quite clear that her mum, the great pirate leader who gave her that necklace, had a lot and a lot of secrets. And so, at some point in her adventure with Link, she finds out her real destiny. Hey you there, are you going to Dutch Comic Con this weekend? Well great, because I'm going as well! Yes, Dr. Wily will be going to Dutch Comic Con. So come hang out, follow me on Twitter and Instagram so you know where I am, or you can DM me where you are and I can find you. And if we meet up, then you'll get a little, little gift. Thanks for watching everybody, I hope you enjoyed. If you want to watch more lovely videos, then be sure to click the annotations on the screen right now. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the bell button, cause then you won't miss any content. Yay! Also, I love you all and I hope you enjoyed. Mwah! Kisses from Wiley.